World Rally Championship has a rich history dating back to 1973. In that time, there have been multiple evolutions of the top level rally car. From Group 2 to Group 4 to the infamous Group B and Group A, followed by the two decade long WRC car, which had multiple evolutions in that time, the last of which were by far and away the fastest rally cars ever. The recent introduction of the Rally 1 cars at the start of the 2022 season marked a major milestone in the sport as it brought together cutting edge technology, sustainable materials, a hybrid system, and a higher level of safety to create a new breed of rally machine. The Rally 1 cars have some seriously impressive technical specs. They're powered by a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine combined with a 100 kilowatt electric motor. Those together give the Rally 1 cars upwards of 500 horsepower. The full power boost can only be used a limited amount of time on the stages and adds in a new tactic for drivers to manage. Teams are also required to use full electric mode on the transits between stages forcing them to manage the electric power at the risk of being penalized for using the combustion engine. These cars also weigh very little. The total weight including the standardized safety cell comes in at 1230 kilograms or 2700 pounds. All of those specs combined make the Rally 1 car perfect for the WRC. Light, nimble, powerful, and most importantly, safe. The FIA has set strict regulations to dictate the Rally 1 car's design and performance. These include restrictions on aerodynamics, like limiting the size of wings and prohibiting parts like dive planes and rear diffusers. This helps ensure a level playing field for all of the manufacturers while also encouraging innovation within these constraints and helping keep costs low. While electronically controlled transmissions and paddle shifters are no longer permitted, mechanical sequential transmissions remain legal, albeit a smaller 5-speed transmission instead of 6. The smaller number of gears should keep the top speeds lower and force the teams to focus more on acceleration and cornering. As in the past, Rally 1 cars continue to have 4-wheel drive, but this time without an active center differential. The lack of this will make going around corners much more difficult which is why we tend to see Rally 1 cars understeer a lot more. Teams will need to decide if they want a better handling car through the corners or more reliable acceleration and braking. To top that off, another step they've taken to lower the cost is only allowing 6 transmission units per car per year. Additionally, they've added restrictions on the suspension. It will be less intricate and feature reduced wheel travel and simpler components such as dampers, hubs, hub carriers, and anti-roll bars. The reduced travel will give cars less control over larger bumps because they'll be limited by how far down the wheels can reach and remain in contact with the road. The introduction of the new standardized safety cell in the Rally 1 cars is a significant advancement in driver and co-driver protection. The safety cell is a mandatory component for all teams, ensuring a consistent level of safety across the board. Constructed from high strength steel, carbon fiber, and other advanced materials, the safety cell forms an integral part of the car's structure, effectively shielding its occupants from the harsh and unpredictable nature of rally. This commitment to safety not only reduces the risk of injury but also demonstrates the WRC's dedication to ensuring the well-being of its drivers and co-drivers as the sport continues to evolve. A few of the other changes include a ban on liquid-cooled brakes, a simplified turbo, the removal of the fresh air valve on the anti-lag systems, and a fuel cell with a more simple design. While these four changes have the chance to negatively impact performance, the purpose was to help reduce costs, create less complicated manufacturing, and help level the playing field for all of the teams, since some teams have much smaller budgets than others. 
Many of the cost-cutting initiatives were meant to create a more level playing field for the current teams, but also help attract new manufacturers into the sport. The aim for the Rally 1 cars is to have them cost about half a million dollars per car versus the $1 million cost of the previous generation. Now let's talk about some of the main players. Toyota, Hyundai, and Ford have been the three teams at the top for years now. Each of them has developed a Rally 1 car, adapting the new regulations and showcasing their unique strengths. Toyota's GR Yaris is known for its agility and robust consistency, while Hyundai's i20N has a reputation for speed and power. M Sport's Ford Puma brings the legacy of Ford's rallying success and combines it with a futuristic approach. And let's be honest, it's the best looking car in the paddock. One of the key reasons for adopting hybrid technology was to reduce the sport's environmental impact. By combining traditional internal combustion engines with electric motors, Rally 1 cars produce fewer CO2 emissions while maintaining thrilling performance. They still give fans the fantastic sound that they have come to love over the years and give it the insane torque and power of an electric car. The use of sustainable materials such as bio-based composites further enhances the eco-friendly nature of these machines. The transition to Rally 1 cars hasn't been without its challenges and controversies. Teams and manufacturers had to quickly adapt to the new regulations which weren't fully announced until the spring of 2021. This only gave them roughly nine months to invest in R&D and manage the added complexities of the untested hybrid system. Despite these hurdles, teams have successfully embraced this new era of rallying, even with a few teething issues along the way. Compared to the previous generation of WRC cars, the Rally 1 has less aggressive aerodynamics and a sleeker shape while still providing a spectacular looking car. To top it off, the performance is exhilarating, if not more exhilarating thanks to the additional power, but with a focus on efficiency and sustainability. The World Rally Championship has marketed the new Rally 1 cars as the perfect blend of tradition and innovation. The sport is embracing its heritage while looking forward to a cleaner, more sustainable future that is proving to be just as exciting as the past. So what's next for the Rally 1 cars? We can expect further development in hybrid technology to give them more performance and efficiency, possibly even explore alternative fuels or a fully electric future. But let's hope they don't go down that route. Whatever the next step may be, the WRC will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in motorsports. And that's it for the anatomy of the WRC's Rally 1 cars. These incredible machines have brought a new dimension to the World Rally Championship, combining cutting edge technology, sustainability, and thrilling performance. As we look to the future, it's clear that the WRC will continue to evolve and innovate, ensuring that the sport remains at the forefront of motorsport and keeps it exciting for the fans. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on the Rally 1 cars and the future of the WRC. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy rallying!